guys and welcome back to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith and today we're going to be working on a cart cover. Now I don't know about you guys but we've been having to wipe down carts and uh, keep things clean so that we're not um, you know picking anything up while we're at the store and when I do take my little ones out I have a three-year-old and he loves to put his mouth all over the cart. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that probably have the same problem and you want an easy sew, something that you can do yourself to kind of take care of that because, you know, as much as we love them licking Lysol, let's not. <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to be making a cart cover. Now it's very simple, very basic. Um, you probably just need a little less than a half a yard, maybe a quarter of a yard. Um, we're going to be using our famous fabric from Dazzled Fabrics online. I'll be um, I'll be leaving a link down below so you guys can find them. But basically all you do is you put Velcro on one side, Velcro on the other side, and then you put it around your cart like so. And it goes on your cart and it stays on there. They work really nice on the uh, Walmart carts. I'll insert a picture here. Um, <laughs> they work really good on the carts and that way, you know, not only for germs, but we can also protect our little ones that like to put their mouths where they don't belong. So let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that you're gonna to need to do is grab a piece of batting. It's gonna be uh, measuring six and a half by 20. All of our pieces are gonna be measuring six and a half by 20. And then you're gonna to need to look for some really cute fabric. Uh, I was online trying to search for something cute because I'm gonna be using that when I go to the grocery store to keep my little one busy. I figured I'd get something cute for him to be able to look at and he loves bluey. Hopefully you guys can see it. My kids love Bluey. <laughs> like it's their favorite show ever. So I figured we get Bluey. I'll go ahead and uh, link down below or whatever so you guys can go and check out her fabrics. It's really cool. So because it's going on a cart and because of all of the germs and you got to worry about everything, what I decided to do was on the very top, I'm going to put my um, fa fashion fabric or whatever you want to call it. Whatever fabric you want to see, I'm going to use that. And then what I did for the rest of them was I put a different fabric for the back. Um, that way you can tell which side has touched the cart and which side is on the outside. So that when you take it off, you can just take it off like this, fold it up, and then you don't have to worry about touching the germs that were on the cart. Um, and that way it's just easier. So you're going to have your top fabric your bottom fabric and your batting and we're going to make a sandwich with it today. All right, so the first thing is grab your batting and lay that out and then the next thing you're going to do is grab the fabric that you want to see. You're going to have that with the fabric print facing up towards you. The right side of the fabric is facing up. The next fabric you're going to have, if you've got a directional print or you've got um, you know, a wrong right side and a wrong side, then you're just going to go ahead and put right sides to right side. Um, also, if you're cutting this out and you and it's a directional print, like bluey is a directional print, and you're it's going across the bar, you need to make sure that you cut it so that the fabric is going the right direction. I mean, if it's yours, it doesn't really matter, but just just saying, y'all know how much I love directional print because it's my favorite. <laughs> then what you can do is you can go through and you can clip it with as many or as little clips as you're going to need. Um, the main thing is that we're going to need to leave an opening to be able to turn all of this inside out when we get done sewing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one end, go all the way around, and then dub, um, make sure that you backstitch and that way, when you're turning it inside out, some of your seams don't come unsewn. Um, but I'm going to go ahead real quick and sew around. Alright, so what I did was I used a different colored thread, so hopefully you guys can see. So right here, I have left an opening so that we can turn it inside out and my camera doesn't want to focus. All right, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your corners and your scissors and you're just going to cut those corners off. We're going to make sure that we're not clipping our threads, 
but that we're just cutting that corner off. Do that to all four sides. All right, now we're going to go to that opening and make sure that we're separating the bluey from the black. And what I normally do is find my corners and kind of poke them out as I'm turning it inside out. So I got one side done. I'm going to find the other side with the other corners. Poke those out. Whoop. Now it's turned inside out. All right. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take that opening and I'm going to fold down in on itself so that we can close that up. Okay, so we're going to clip that. Now, if you want to, you can take your fingers and you can kind of um, roll the fabric so that the fabric is not like shoved in there or anything. You know what I mean? When you turn something inside out and you want to top stitch it, you need to make sure that the fabric underneath isn't kind of crammed in. You need to just kind of take your fingers and roll it out and make sure that you're getting the actual edge of the fabric. So you can clip all the way around or you can live dangerously like me and just go ahead and sew. Now, I am sewing at an eighth of an inch. Um, if you sew at a quarter of an inch, you're probably not going to catch the outside where you've where you've turned in your hole. So I'm going to sew at an eighth of an inch and it also helps when we're going to put the Velcro on. Um, that way you're catching the Velcro later on and you don't have like triple seams. You'll see when we're done. All right, so you've got it sewn all the way around. The very next thing you're gonna do, the very next thing you're gonna do is grab your Velcro. Now you have what's called hook and loop. So one side is a loop and one side is a hook. Um, you can get your Velcro at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. Um, I make a lot of this stuff and I work with Velcro all the time. So I buy it in bulk. If I can remember, I'll try and um, link the company that I buy these from down below. Um, it's a really good company and they get my Velcro to me pretty fast. So I'm going to cut both the hook and the loop 19 and 3 quarters inches. I want the Velcro to go as far down as I can on this so that when I'm taking it off the cart I'm not constantly pulling. It's right on the edge and it'll just come right apart from each other. Okay so the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to lay out our Velcro. Now, I like to get my Velcro as close as I can to the edge. And then I'm going to clip this down. It's like right over that seam that we created that I can show you now. That's uh, what I was talking about, the one eighth of an inch. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I just go ahead and I clip it all the way down. And then I'm going to sew all the way around this Velcro. So now you can see on the back that, I know it's hard to see because it's black, um, but I've basically put my stitches, because I put the uh, Velcro so close to the edge, I basically put my stitches where I had already stitched along uh, for my top stitching. So that's why I like to sew really close to the edge, and it just makes it a lot easier to get it off the cart. Now, we're going to take this and turn it over, and then you're going to get your other Velcro. So you can put your hook on the front and your loop on the back. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to um, clip it on there and sew down. And now you're done. Alright guys, what did you think? Was it pretty easy sew, I think. Uh, for the most part, it's just turning things inside out and then kind of top stitching around them. Um, I think it was a pretty easy sew. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you want to stick around, you can subscribe and look for some of my other reusable hacks. I have a ton of stuff that I'm making that we can reuse over and over again. And um, that way we're just kind of saving money. Especially if we're sewing it ourselves. 
Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comments section down below and I'll get right to those. And I finally got in with the times and I have an Instagram. So if you look for me at FaithWorks Designs, I am now on Instagram and I would love to see your creations. Um, anytime you guys do any of my videos and go through and you make some stuff, I would love to see those. So please feel free to tag me. I would love to see them and you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining us here on FaithWorks Designs. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.